Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. Houston, I don't know whether you'll ever copy this, but this may be the last chance I have for debriefing. And if it is, this message may be your only chance to save the Earth. The name is Simeon, Captain Simeon, Captain Chuck Simeon. And you're not going to believe a word of this. I was one of NASA's original chimpanzee astronauts. Due to some uh, technological glitch, my capsule broke out of orbit. I went AWOL, thrown beyond the solar system out into the darkest regions of unexplored space. Preserved by a combination of freezing cold and zero gravity, I drifted for decades until I reached the very center of the galaxy. I might have drifted forever, but then something happened that wasn't in the handbooks. Emissary to us. Oh, I had thought Earth creatures had evolved beyond this state. They have broken free of their earthly bonds. So the prophecy is fulfilled. He must receive the gift. We must prepare the Cerebratron. Most intense. 
intelligent representative of his planet. <laughs> well, perhaps we should turn it up a notch. And so, I became an intelligent creature, capable of logic, emotion, and speech. Anybody got a banana? We are the... Come again? We are an advanced race. So advanced that our name cannot be spoken or written. Only thought. Well, that must make it hard to make dinner reservations. We have waited eons for your arrival. You will now take our place as Defender of the Universe. Look, I hate to point this out, but I'm only one small monkey and it's a great big universe. And this is a great big ship, and it's yours to command. Captain Simeon. Captain Simeon. I like the sound of that. <laughs> What's going on? Everything you need to know can be found here on this installation. You have been given class two intelligence. You already possess the integrity and spirit to use it wisely. Well, the first wise thing I want to do is use this baby to go home. Boy, I've got one heck of a report to file with NASA. <laughs> what was that? That is Nebula. Uh, I think it's time you guys brief me. A former class two humanoid of unparalleled evil. Nebula seeks the anti-force. And unless you stop him, he is destined to achieve his dark goal. The force field holds, Lord Nebula. For now, reasons too. But I shall not be denied. I have not come this far in my evolution to be stopped by mere technology. The Takeon missiles are not sufficient, Lord. My brain has failed you. Bad brain! Bad brain! When I pluck thee from my capsule and improve thee, it was not for whining excuses for failure, Rhesus 2. Remember, there was a Rhesus 1. Once. This new brain shall serve you well. Yes. Yes! The universe shall be yours, Lord Nebula. I expect nothing less. So let me get this straight. This Nebula character wants to destroy the universe and create a new one? Within himself. Check. It's an ego thing. Nebula will achieve the power of a black hole. The ability to bend time and space to his own will. When he succeeds in breaking through the force field. What do you mean, when? Whoa. is in your hands. Or is it your feet? Well, it's about time for us to depart this plane of existence. What? Hey! Hey, you can't just go off and play cosmic shuffleboard while I... The Orbitron will provide all that you need. Oh. Primate. What's the warranty on this force field? Good luck, Captain Simeon. The tenth dimension awaits. Call us if you need us. Call you what? I was correct. Antiplasma is eating away at the force field. Soon, ultimate power will be yours, Nebula. After. I have a little mindless fun. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, it's Ray
rain and fire out here, Houston. I don't know how long I can stay in Comlink, but here goes. Continuing debriefing. So there I was, millions of light years up the intergalactic creek, and the closest thing I had to a paddle was a strange glowing ball. And how is this stupid little glowing ball supposed to help me? I am an Orbitron. I am capable of 4,215 functions, approximately. Well, that's great. Now you can just blast Nebula to atoms and get me home. Are you joking? I'm just a stupid little glowing ball, remember? But I can provide you with the data necessary to complete your mission. That's a story. You will need a crew. I will scan what passes for your mind and provide candidates based on your subconscious predilections for planet of origin and species. How long before the force field goes negative function? 8.45 minutes. Well then, I'm gonna make life easy for you. All I know are Earth and monkeys, and I need them in less than eight minutes. That is a foolhardy choice, but mine is not the reason why. Wait a minute. That would leave only seven minutes. No, I mean, how are you going to get this crew here? Oh. This war or wormhole leads directly to Earth. Hmm. Does this wormhole work both ways? I mean, can this... Get me home? Oh, certainly. But then the universe would end in slightly over nine minutes, making it a very poignant but brief visit. Well, then let's do this ASAP before I'm just so much monkey meat. Of course. Candidate one, spider monkey. Name spider. Location New York City. Retrieval procedure initiated. Hold it out on me, would you, you little thief? Come here. The other one's too dummy up. What do you want another beating? Ow, ow, you little son of a That's it, you little low life. Candidate two species Chinese golden monkey. Name Shaolin. Location Tibet. Retrieval initiated. in all matters, the goddess shall decide. The monkey goddess has ascended. It is a miracle. Candidate three species orangutan. Name Splitsy. Location Okeechobee Falls, USA. Retrieval initiated. Hey, look at that crazy monkey. Hmm? <laughs> 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 Monkey's nuts. Oh, look at that crazy monkey. We have time for one more. I need someone big, strong, and reliable. Yes, don't we all? 
Final candidate species, mountain gorilla. Name, undetermined. Location, Rwanda, Africa. Retrieval, initiated. Shh! This way. I think it's a small one. We will get the little devil. Or at least his hide. <laughs> Here, his little brother will make a good wallet, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> <laughs> Suppose he just disappeared into outer space. Crew retrieval complete. You can thank me later. This is my crew? <laughs> this is my crew. Now, it's time to smarten them up. I wonder what their reactions will be. Hey. Who do you have to know around here to get a banana? We have hunger. You will feed us a banana immediately. I require sustenance. Rich, pulpy yellow fruit of the Museke plant of the Inseed variety would be preferable. No, I'd rather have a banana. That is a banana. <laughs> I want a banana. Now! He broke the thing. Yes. I'm afraid cerebral enhancement was incomplete. Hmm. Tell me about it, my friend. All right, listen up, crew. I've got bad news and, well, bad news. First, there are no bananas in outer space. Second, the next explosion like that will probably kill us all and result in the end of the universe. Oh, is, is that all? What? We are not amused by any of this. Where are my worshippers? Get a load of Princess Leia. We are not amused. I hope we can learn to work together, Shaolin. We must not be touched. If you ask me, she is touched. It's a monkey-loving head. <laughs> I did not ask you. Uh, right, right. Hey, what's your name, big guy? I do not know. Uh, you, you can put, put me down now. Yes, I can. If you'll all come with me, the Orbitron will brief you. If you're done picking lice from yourselves, that is. I don't like you. If I had such a thing as a feeling, it would be mutual. And that's the scoop, boys and girls. We've got a universe to save and not much time to save it. All right, so let me get this straight. In summary, we get intelligence, these nifty suits, and a spaceship, and all of 43 seconds to enjoy it? That's not exactly true. You have only three seconds to enjoy it. <laughs> Monkeys? <laughs> oh, this is going to be too easy. A real no-brainer. Next time on Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. Give me the antipodes and die. Isn't that supposed to be or die?
noite.